wake us from our nightmares. To make us new ones. A descent into a vast underground complex. Welcome to the hardest game of red light green light you have ever played, GTFO. You play as one of four death row inmates, all of whom have committed heinous acts of unspeakable horror, such as war crimes, working for a corrupt corporation, war crimes for Jesus, and being British. And your punishment for this? The most nightmarish jumper ride you've ever been on. Holy 2018 13. Oh, please tell me it gets lower than that. As part of your punishment, you're forced to go on expeditions for the warden, and while you and I might both think, why should I risk my life for this mysterious person when I could walk away? There's a bomb strapped to your neck, and if you ask me, that's a rather compelling argument to take the elevator down into the depths. So while you're down in the depths of the facility, you'll be tasked with various major objectives. For instance, starting up the reactor core. <laughs> oh, it is epic. Use reactor code EPIC now to save. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> or babysitting. We have to escort this bullshit. Oh, do we? Well, not escort. Oh, oh, yeah. Harry, the baby. This is like what the factories tell you not to do. Yeah. Okay, look, a baby. That is it's disgusting. So what the They're... fuck is that thing? Yeah. Not invisible. Just fucking annoying. The hard part about these objectives is that you have no freaking clue where to go to find them in this giant facility. You do have the highly advanced technological feat of the map, but it's better used for other things. Hey guys, remember to hit tab for the map. Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> There is a solution for this conundrum, though, in the terminals. This bad boy will bring you back to the good old days of pretending to be a hacker to your 5th grade class by changing the color of the command prompt. With commands such as list, ping, and query, you'll be finding your objective in no time. But that's not all it can do. The terminal is extremely useful for finding meta packs and ammo, because one good look at tongue to the face and you will be down for the count. Uh, we've got two ammo. Light off, light off. Okay. Yeah, what's up? Snipe out. Anyway, back to my terminal. The terminal isn't the only minigame though, a lot of the locked lockers are locked with hack locks that you need to whip out your trusty little hollow lockpick for. I have no idea why I am so bad at these QTEs, but it literally got to the point where my group saw me opening a locker and one of them would tell me to stop and come over and unlock it for me. Don't judge me like that. <laughs> you just I'm glad you knew exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Did Malachi fuck up a hack? Yes. Fucking cringe, bro. Hacking isn't the only reason having a full team is crucial to surviving in GTFO. Everything in this game is built around working together with a team. Several of the enemies require multiple coordinated hits to kill. You have to work together during security scans to finish them, so horde stop. And many of the objectives also require you to protect one of your teammates while they input a code or are holding an objective. I mean, the slogan of the game is quite literally, work together or die together. Let me know when everyone is ready to smack the big in. Everyone ready? Oh, ready? Okay. Yep. Alright. Charging now. Charge. Three, two, one, smack it. Smack it, keep smacking. Oh! Oh! Okay. Well, there goes my whole HP board. <laughs> Thankfully, the devs are aware that their game isn't meant to be played alone. They've added several ways to get a group together so you can't say, <laughs> friends, what are those? I don't have any. There's in game matchmaking, a Discord server, and even a subreddit all dedicated to finding teammates that you can tolerate enough to not put a bullet in their head at the end of the round. Ah, well, Little Dipper's dead, guys. <laughs> oh, the shit. enemy's overwhelmed him. <laughs> no, we couldn't do anything about it. Your team's loadout matters a lot, too. You'll have several options of primaries, ranging from a pistol to a shotgun, and honestly, all of them feel well-balanced. I personally really like the Uzi, because it's an Uzi, and it shreds at close range, too. I hope you know I am basically out of ammo. The Uzi be putting in work. Dude, like, unironically, the Uzi kind of do work. The secondaries feel a lot like the primaries, you know, stronger, and generally less ammo. 
a lot less ammo. I was our team's designated sniper because big gun to go burr, but I can't recommend it if you're lagging. Mm, that I, was not enough. I don't understand. I swear, guys, I'm hitting this and it's not killing them. Like, it's not doing damage. I don't know why. Oh, I thought it was going to go boom. <laughs> This annoys me. Your choice of melee doesn't matter too much, but I will say having a group of cavemen is absolutely hilarious, and the knife, while lacking range, is quite fun to run around the room with. Are you ready? I'm charging. And go. Bop. And bop. And bop. Wait. There's also a couple different utility items to add to your run. There are various different sentry turrets, blast, shotgun, and sniper, which all do a solid amount of damage and are great for killing the mutants while you're doing the objectives. The bio tracker is a fancy heartbeat sensor that can detect enemies as well as ping their location. The cum gun, which can hold doorways and freeze enemies. Very nice. And the mind deployer, which does its namesake and deploys mines. Just be careful not to be that guy. We have to get to zone 96. What the fuck did you just do to me? Exactly what I wanted to do, that's why. And of course, with all this utility at your disposal, you're going to need something to use it on, which is where the mutations come in. Which, by the way, the wiki has some dumb names for it. Nobody's going to call this the Big Striker. It's a tall boy. I like to think the Bishop touched Oh, is children. this the baby one? This is... Escort the child? Don't tell Bishop. Do not... <laughs> what the fuck are you? What the oh. fuck is that? <laughs> That's a thing. It looks like Voldemort when Harry dies. Oh, what's hitting me? It, they are. The tall boy. Imagine a sleeper, but like tall, and will two shot you. Holy, why are they? It's a fucking army. Why are they running so fast towards us? He fucking moving. Why the tall boys be zooming? <laughs> Mr. Nubs is a hybrid between the tall boy and one of the things that shoots at you, and they are very annoying. I'm intrigued. Do you have drugs? Okay, uh, you have drugs? No, but let's uh, find out what it does. All right, well, I'm going to stab myself and then charge. All right, ready? Yep. Yoink. All right, and charging and smack. Oh, I oh one shot. God, I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. Beat you down. Oh, right. Beat you down. Yeah, right. Beat you down. Okay. Mm. The spaghetti hentai monster is interesting because instead of being asleep, it roams the area, and if you touch its tentacle porn, it flashbangs you and causes a horde in every direction. Uh, run, 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 run. Oh no. Run. No. Holy. Okay, I didn't take you seriously when you said it was just an army of tall boys. Yes. Ruby, put down your put down your turret. <laughs> I don't have a turret. This is the vor monster. It vores you. And if you're into it, I'm judging you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like. Uh, bro, are the doors gonna open? What, what what's going on here? <laughs> There's the doors. Oh, I was joking. <laughs> There's I, the light. I was joking. Here comes Satan. Oh, bye, Malachi. What the hell is that thing? Oh, oh it went for hell. What? Bye. I'm by one of the turrets. I see you. I'm running. Oh no. Oh my. I, I got bored. I don't know. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of people who would pay good money for that to happen to them. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. That was a snatcher. Okay, I've, I've got my sniper out. If you guys can cover the rest of it. Stay the uh, fuck that, down. That's, that is... Two of them. That's a second. second. Oh, why me? What the fuck? Oh, okay. I thought you died. Or I thought you got pulled away. <laughs> not again. Oh, it fell oh, off the oh, edge. Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead. <laughs> By the way, all of them can be invisible, so have fun with that. I mean, I'm gonna... Escape. I don't know which one of us it is, but one of us sounds like... Oh! Oh no, guys. Oh no, you guys are so screwed. Oh, you guys are so... Why? Are they invisible? They're invisible. <laughs> oh god, yep! Lights on! I'm gonna okay, throw a okay, seafoam phone behind us. Seafoam behind us. Go. Just run. I'm... Keep running, keep running past Over. me. But that's about it. Consider subscribing and let me know if you think you'd enjoy the game. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.